Hello guys, this is Absolute Automation and today we are going to learn about Selenium class interface diagram and this is very important in order to learn Selenium and to know what is what's the inside how it is made okay so without wasting much time let's, let's start uh, okay so the very first interface in a Selenium architecture is search context okay guys so search context is a interface this is what search context and this is my interface okay guys so this is my interface and in this interface we have two abstract methods First is find element, elements, find element. Okay, guys, these are abstract method. So abstract method, which do, um, it, it don't uh, abstract methods are which is not defined and which has no functionality. Okay so it's an interface and second we have a web driver interface so i think everyone heard of this interface once if you are into automation okay guys so in this interface so this is a web driver interface okay guys so this web driver interface this extends my search context interface okay guys and in this interface we have some abstract method like get string url then we have close then we have um, quit and then we have get window handles okay so these are these 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 are the methods which i have labeled in web driver interface these are abstract method and apart from this abstract method there are some important nested interfaces as well okay guys so we have some nested interfaces nested interfaces are window then we have navigate then we have timeout okay guys so these are the nested interfaces and these are nested interfaces okay and this interface extends my search context interface okay guys so the next one is remote web driver and remote web driver is a class okay guys this is my fully implemented class by fully implemented i mean all the business logic is defined in this class okay and what is the relation between this web driver interface and this class is it implements okay guys this implements uh, this is my remote web driver remote web driver and this is my class okay guys okay and after this class we have multiple of other classes like chrome i firefox and 
we have Safari. Okay, guys. We have Chrome. We have Firefox. We have I. And we have Safari. So all this class will extend my remote web browser. Okay, guys. What what all this does? The extends. Okay, guys. So again, so this is my class Chrome, Firefox, IE, and Safari. These it's Chrome driver actually. Oh, okay. So Chrome driver extends remote web driver. Remote web driver implements web driver. And web driver extend search context interface. So this is the class diagram, guys. And there are other important interfaces, which is very important for you to know, guys. Okay. We have two more interfaces. Okay, guys. First is my take a screenshot okay guys take a screenshot and this is my java script executor so take a screenshot as the name sorry guys as the name suggests this interface has a screenshot functionality and this is javascript executor so we in, in selenium we perform operations uh, using javascript as well so th that that uh, all we will discuss when we design when we start designing the automation framework okay uh, so yes okay so these are my interfaces and <coughs> remote web driver implements these interfaces okay guys uh, these are interface okay this is I think this is very much clear to everyone so now we have we have web element as well web element is again an interface yes guys I think most of you don't know uh, in the time of interview I have seen many people uh, they, they, they are not aware what is web element so web element is an interface it's not a class no it's absolutely it's not a class it's a interface okay guys so this web element extends my search context and this web element extends the okay so this web element extends the search context and the take screenshot interface okay guys you can take the screenshot of this diagram this will help you throughout your selenium learning 
and you have to refer this class and you have it, it should be in your mind this diagram should be very much clear in your mind okay so if this is clear i think you will grasp the concept of selena automation much faster okay okay yeah so next question is why we do selenium webdriver driver is equal to new chrome driver okay so what's the benefit of doing that so that one thing we are going to study so in order to explain that i've created a simple maven project with selenium dependency and i have used the maven latest dependency okay so let's try web web driver driver is equal to new so guys um, i will cover side by side all the interview questions related to this concept so the first question is can we create a object of web driver so no guys we cannot create so you can see you can see cannot institute the type web driver we see it's we cannot create the object of web driver so web driver is my interface and interface has an abstract method so there is no point of creating a object of web driver you are getting it yeah so there is no point of creating a object of web driver and we cannot create java doesn't allow to create the object of interfaces okay guys so web driver is an interface and we cannot create an object of interface so that's the first second question is what is the benefit we get when we do web driver is equal to new chrome driver okay i will explain you with the help of diagram okay guys so what we are doing is when we use a new keyword new chrome driver so this will create a object okay new chrome driver okay and what we are doing is web driver driver correct okay great web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver so what we are doing is when we do this so this is my reference type this is my reference and this is my object so when we do web driver driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver so it creates a object of new chrome driver and it will give the reference of this object in this driver okay so same thing happen when we do firefox new firefox driver so when we do this this the object of driver the object of firefox is assigned into the driver reference type okay so the benefit is without changing the reference type we can assign multiple objects into the same reference okay so that's the so this this concept is called polymorphism in java and this is the advantage we are getting it when we do web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver okay so now the interview is trying to confuse you why don't we write chrome driver 
driver is equal to new Chrome driver. This is absolutely right. We can do this, guys. Okay, let's come here and I will explain with the help of diagram again. <clears throat> okay, guys. So what happened here is <clears throat> we have created a reference type of Chrome driver. Okay. So what happened here is the object of Chrome driver is assigned to the reference of Chrome driver, which is absolutely fine. But what happened here is this assigning of reference in <clears throat> assigning of object of Chrome driver in the reference of Chrome driver will only work when we are using Chrome browser. Okay, Chrome driver is for Chrome browser. So this will only work when we are using Chrome browser for our testing. But in case, let's say there is a demand of using a Firefox or in case, let's say we have to perform a parallel testing, then we cannot assign the Firefox driver in the Chrome driver this is wrong because the reference type is of chrome driver and we cannot assign the firefox driver into the reference of chrome driver okay okay so let's try to understand it with the help of example <clears throat> okay guys so let's try to assign it see it's throwing error we cannot there is a type mismatch cannot convert from firefox driver to chrome driver but we can do the same with driver see guys so here we have assigned the reference type of new chrome driver we have assigned we have assigned the object of chrome driver and we have assigned the object of firefox driver also in the reference type of web driver okay so this is possible and this is not okay now if if you got this concept i would like to take you one step ahead so why we can't do remote web driver why we can't do remote web driver A remote driver is equal to new A remote web driver why we can't use this okay so this is not available so what so guys if, if you are new to selenium please be with me uh, in future chapter i will explain you the desired capabilities what is there what is to use for uh, just don't worry on that just be with me so why we can't use remote web driver yes we can do that we can do that okay guys so if i try to show you what are the methods in remote web driver so we have these many methods web driver web okay guys so what happened with remote web driver is it is used to execute selenium test cases in a grid and using the desired capability we define in which operating system and in which browser we have to perform the action okay guys but we can use remote web driver in the execution and this will support multiple browsers as well okay okay guys so i hope uh, I, i've cleared all your doubts uh, we'll move in next chapter thank you